When God is with us, great things happen. When God is with us, great and beautiful, wonderful things. Great things happen when God is with us. Some find peace, some are disturbed. Some people also find joy. Some see their lives as it never could before. And some Dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Today we celebrate the solemn feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus, the feast which is very dear to us. We all wait for this feast in order to experience the love of God, in order to feel the compassion of our Lord upon the whole humanity. God has saved us by His sacred heart. And let us offer this Holy Eucharist for one another that we may show compassion, we may show love, we may show humanity's affection towards one another that we live this feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus by loving one another as he did upon the cross. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist by remembering all the intentions that we have. Praying for all the intentions on our channel. Praying for all those who have asked us for special prayers for them. For the unity in their married life. Those who experience difficulties in their property matters. Those who experience difficulties in their day-to-day -day living in the family with each other. We ask our dear Lord to show mercy by our way of life towards others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, the feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus reminds us of our Christian duties towards one another that we are called to suffer for the sake of Christ, but not make others suffer. But we suffer for the sake of others in order to bring joy and happiness in the life of others. We should be ready to take up any burden upon us for the Lord who says, Lay your burdens upon me, and I will make it easy for you. Carry your burdens in my name, and you will feel it easy. This is the meaning of the cross that we all of us should remind ourselves. At this time, let us introspect and see how well we have lived with each other in love and compassion. For those times that we have hated one another, for those times that we have spoiled the name of others, for those times that we have criticized and caused injuries to others, let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy.
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love. Grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verses 6 to 11. <clears throat> the Lord set his heart on you and chose you. Moses said to the people, You are a people consecrated to the Lord, your God. It is you that the Lord our God has chosen to be his very own people out of all the peoples on the earth. If the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, it was not because you outnumbered other peoples. You were the least of all peoples. It was for love of you and to keep the oath he swore to your fathers that the Lord brought you out with his mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the power of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who is true to his covenant and his graciousness for a thousand generations towards those who love him and keep his commandments, but 
who punishes in their own persons those who hate him he is not slow to destroy the man who hates him he makes him work out his punishment in person you are therefore to keep and observe the commandments and statutes of ordinance that i lay down for you today the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm the love of the lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear response the love of the lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear my soul give thanks to the lord all my being bless his holy name my soul give thanks to the lord and never forget all his blessings response the love of the lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear it is he who forgives all your guilt who heals every one of your ills who redeems your life from the grave who crowns you with love and compassion response the love of the lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear The Lord does deeds of justice gives judgment for all who are oppressed He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons Response The love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear The Lord is compassion and love slow to anger and rich in mercy he does not treat us according to our sins nor repay us according to our faults response the love of the lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear second reading a reading from the first letter of john chapter 4 verses 7 to 16 Let us love one another since love comes from God My dear people let us love one another since love comes from God and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him this is the love i mean not our love for god but god's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins my dear people since god has loved us so much we too should love one another No one has ever seen God but as long as we love one another God will live in us and his love will be complete in us we can know that we are living in him and he is living in us because he lets us share his spirit we ourselves saw and we testify that the father sent his son as savior of the world if anyone acknowledges that jesus is the son of god god lives in him and he in god we ourselves have known and put our faith in god's love towards ourselves god is love and anyone who lives in love lives in god and god lives in him the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia shoulder my yoke and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, many people today are inclined towards this devotion because all of us are in need of God's mercy. We realize deep within ourselves that we are sinners and we need God's mercy and compassion. If you look at the heart of Jesus, the image of the sacred heart of Jesus reveals to us that his heart has a crown of thorns. But the most important thing is that his heart radiates light. And what does this heart of thorns mean? That this heart has accepted all the suffering struggles of this world upon itself. And in return, radiates to the whole humanity the light that is life, the life-giving light. And therefore, the Lord invites all of us to bring all our sufferings, struggles, tensions, depressions, intentions and prayers and deposit on the heart of Christ. And in return, he will give us his light and life. So wonderfully, the Lord says to us in the gospel reading of today, Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened. Why should we have then fear when we are burdened, when we have tensions? For he says, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. That confidence we need to have in the Lord who is our Saviour, our Redeemer. In the Old Testament we see, God showed His mercy towards Israel because they were under slavery, under the Egyptians. However comfortable they might have been, but God felt that these people need to be redeemed and out of his own initiative, 
out of his own love and compassion towards them he initiated the process of salvation redemption freedom and therefore saint paul reminds us saying that we are born in this love of god therefore we must give love to others it's a free gift that we have received from god that is love and we are called to give love to one another therefore we christians are different from others that we don't show hatred that we don't show people an act of murder by our deeds but we show compassion we show love forgiveness and affection this is what the lord is trying to tell us that we need today this heart of love this heart of compassion you see what all things we have been experiencing these days an act of hatred we see in manipur yes we need the heart of christ to accept and to forgive one another and above all to experience and to accept persecutions what we see in russia and ukraine even up to now brutality killing acquiring property and territory for what because we all want to expand we all want territories we all want positions rather than a heart of love and compassion rather than acquiring more people in our heart rather than getting more people in forgiveness we want properties we want territories by killing one another by destroying one another the mission of christ today is this to make the heart of jesus visible to the whole humanity that he accepts every sufferings of us and in return he shows compassion and mercy so my dear friends let us be prayerful let us be real in our lives in service to the whole humanity just as the heart of jesus did to this humanity and radiates the same life and same light upon us let us pray that there may be peace in this world and this peace be initiated by you and me today and at this time amen let us profess our faith together i, I believe, believe in, in god, god the father, father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he'll come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the, the resurrection of the body, of the body and, and life everlasting amen. amen dear brothers and sisters let us present all our intentions before the sacred heart of jesus placing our holy church pope francis cardinals bishops priests deacons religious and all the lay faithful that together we may show love to the whole humanity just as jesus did let them know by our acts of love and forgiveness 
that we are Christians. Let us pray for all those people who are suffering in this world due to various illnesses, due to suppressions, some taken to slavery, oppression. We pray for those who are disturbed, tensed, those in war and strife, those in revenge and anger. We pray for all our families who are suffering due to enmity and hatred, unforgiving acts. We ask our dear Lord to shower his mercy and compassion upon this world. Are you tired of chasing pretty rainbows? Are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all your troubled dreams in your life And at the feet of Jesus Lay them down Give them all Give them all Give them all to Jesus Shattered dreams Broken hearts Broken homes Give them all Give them all Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Saviour all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohes to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. me food the hunger of my soul is laid to rest and 
each rare moment that I felt his presence, I shall remember and forever cherish. Deep calls to deep for he created me to be his own. He understands the joy and pain of life he too has known. And each rare moment that I felt his presence shall remember and forever cherish. My dear friends, we thank you for participating in this Holy Eucharist and for being subscribers on our channel. We thank you for your support that we receive. Your prayers your financial assistance, and for being our well-wishers. We would also humbly request you to assist the poor by your charity. You can assist those who are now suffering, especially the students in Manipur. Now, the diocese of Bangalore, that is Archdiocese, has taken the initiative to take care of them. You can also support financially for this great cause. We also take care of the orphan girls whose fees we pay in order to give them special education, especially nursing for girls. Their fees are very high. And by our collective charity and compassion, we will be able to do great things in the name of Christ. Be compassionate. Be loving. Be affectionate. For God is love. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing you a great feast day. Show love towards your own and towards others. And we will make this world a place dwelling for you and for me. Amen.